Hey guys, it's Sarah here from earthymama.com and today I just thought I would record a one-on-one -on -one essential oil class for you. A, um, a class that we're going to base around our top 10 essential oils that we use in doTERRA here and the ways that you can get the most value out of those oils, like lots of different ways that you can use those oils, ways that I in particular use those oils. And yeah, just give you a bit more information that um, you may not already know. So, I do recommend this is by far the best way to start out your doTERRA essential oil journey because these essential oils that we're going to talk about today are six of our most popular essential oils, um, individual oils. And then there's also four essential oil blends in there that are just so versatile and you know, really, really important when it comes to looking after your family's health and well-being in your home. So if you're a mum looking at trying to reduce the chemicals in your family's home, trying to reduce the amount of medications that um, you might turn to, then, you know, have a look at these 10 essential oils. We don't recommend and I don't recommend at all, um, you know, totally going against your doctor's advice or anything. They're very well trained and that's why we have them. But if you can just use these essential oils to perhaps rely on your gut instinct that's that little bit more and know that you have these wonderful oils within your home um, in hands reach so that you can support your family in situations where it's not quite as serious um, and prevent having to have a million doctor's visits and you know having your kids on lots of medications and stuff that they may not necessarily need if it's not that serious um, because we all know a lot of those medications do have side effects and yeah, just, I don't know, looking after your kids and your family in a much more natural from the earth type of way, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> so the Home Essentials Kit is definitely what I recommend and that is the oils I'm going to be going through today. I do run um, online classes and as well as in-home classes and with a lot of all the people that are pretty much Sorry, pretty much all the people that I sign up, sign up with this kit because I've then been able to provide them with lots of recipes, uh, whether it be first aid type uses, whether it be um, emotional type uses or diffuser recipes with these oils in particular. So I believe that if you start with a range like this, then, you know, we I can show you so many different ways to use these oils make the most of these 10 to start with and then build your collection with the other blends and other nice oils as you can afford to. So that's how I like to do it. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, we have frankincense essential oil, which as we all know, is the king of essential oils for good reason. Now this is the oil that we all say if you don't know what oil to use, use frankincense. It's just amazing and has so many benefits. So you can use frankincense for calming and grounding. It's a really, really good one to balance your mood, help with stress and anxiety and tension, helps with sleep. So you can diffuse this um, with some other good sleep ones like lavender and your lavender piece and that sort of thing. You can even like, even if you've got it in your bag and you're just having a stressful, anxious moment, you can inhale direct from the bottle. You can also put a couple of drops I think it's nearly empty, directly on your hand, you rub together. And you cup and inhale a couple of big breaths. So that's a really good one, particularly, you know, kids have it in your handbag, whether it's kids for school, you know, anxious about a test, maybe they're getting bullied, something like that. Maybe you're stressed about work, just anything, just a really good one to have on hand. So obviously this is also such a beautiful nourishing one for your skin. You've probably heard the talk about um, frankincense added to your skincare regime. It is unreal. It helps with wrinkles and all sorts of stuff, blemishes, um, like minor scars and that type of thing. So you can add just as simple as adding a drop of frankincense to your daily facial moisturizer. It's also a very good one for concentration. So if you're, you know, you need to concentrate on a task at work or something like that or kids with a test and that sort of thing, because it's grounding and because it's more of a grounding, calming one, it's going to work on just slowing down your mind and trying to stay focused on what the task is at hand. 
Okay, so this is one that's very, very safe for babies. Not all essential oils are safe for babies. So this is one of the ones that I love to use. And it is um, obviously very nourishing to their skin. So I like to add it to my baby wipes. I make my own baby wipes. I also make my own tushy spray and nappy cream, which can also be used for um, cradle cap. So if you... I will do some more recipes, um, record some recipes for you on those types of things so you can have a look at how I do them. But even just as simple for babies as diffusing with lavender or lavender piece to promote sleep or giving your bub a really nice gentle massage um, with just some coconut oil or jojoba oil or something like that with the lavender and frankincense just to promote healthy skin and promote sleep. This will help bub relax and sleep. Um, strong nails and beautiful hair to help your nails. Obviously, mine have got gel on them at the moment, but if you didn't have gel on them, you could just gently massage in a drop over your nails, maybe once a week to promote strong nails. Add it to your shampoo or conditioner, just one or two drops once a week to promote healthy hair. You can combine it with honey to make a really nice herbal tea before bed, of course. So that would be really calming and relaxing. Um, now it is a very big immunity oil because it promotes healthy cell function. So if you're someone that's very ill, has a very low immunity system, you know, has diseases and all that type of stuff, it's not going to cure the disease, but it's going to help your body get stronger and healthier by nourishing your cells. So I love frankincense for that. Um, and a lot of people take this daily under their tongue to promote just a healthy overall body. Um, and it, it actually tastes pretty good. So there's no dramas there. Um, now, immunity. So because we use it for immunity, for me, I like to combine it with the kids with On Guard essential oil. And I'll make up a roller bottle. If you don't know what a roller bottle is, this is just a 5ml one. But it's glass and you put a few drops of your desired essential oil and carry oil in there and you just basically roll it over the skin. So they're very handy. Make up your own blends. Yeah, so for kids I combine the On Guard and the Frankincense together for immunity. But for babies, On Guard isn't safe. So Frankincense daily, whether it's just on the soles of their feet or through a massage, um, even just in the wipes, like all that sort of stuff is still going to give bubs a little bit of immunity protection. It's great um, in a bath for relaxing, like I said before, with bubs and even adults. Whenever I put any oils in the bathtub at oil, particularly with children, I make sure I'm putting a couple of drops in you know, your hand or a ceramic container or dish or something with you know, like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of carrier oil of your choice. And then I mix the Epsom salts or the magnesium flakes into that. That way, when you put that whole mixture in the tub, it's going to spread evenly. Frankincense is probably fine, but other oils that you might, like peppermint or something like that, that you might put in a bathtub, um, if you just drip it straight in without diluting it with the oils and the Epsom salts and stuff, the oils may sit on top and then kids, of course, splash, 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 they may get oil in their eye. So yeah, that's how we do the bath. Um... So yeah, it will help to relieve sore, crampy muscles through either a massage or in the bath. This is a great one, again, because it's a grounding oil. It's a great one for panic attacks, insomnia, and feeling depressed. So, you know, if you're just having a bit of a depressing day or a bit of a depressing moment where you just can't lift your own mood, frankincense is a good one to try. Now, you can do that through either putting it in your diffuser smelling it right from the bottle like we did before, inhaling, breathing. You can have your own roller bottle or put a couple of drops down your spine and over your heart space, however you like to use it. Now, it's also good at repelling some insects, including mosquitoes and flies. They do not like the smell of frankincense, so that can help you there. Okay, that's probably all I have on frankincense. I know there is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ways to use it because it's just such a versatile oil. And like I said before, if you're unsure what oil you should be using, really give frankincense a go. Um, it's just, it's very versatile. So our next oil in our 10, top 10 kit is lavender essential oil, which I'm sure we all know lots about and love. Obviously, this oil is very well known as a um, sleep promoter. 
and relaxing and reducing anxious and stressful feelings. So much the same as um, frankincense, if you have it on hand and you need to use it when you're feeling stressed or anxious, take the bottle off, put some drops in your hands or just smell from the bottle, however you want to do that. Great to go in the bath before bed to promote sleep. Great to go in the diffuser with other oils before bed to promote sleep. And great for a massage before sleep. So anything to do with sleep, lavender's your girl. <laughs> Um, I do use lavender for like tension headaches. So I'll put a couple of drops here on my temples and at the back of my neck, um, near my hairline is a good spot to try and reduce headaches, um, with the lavender. It is also quite good for reducing the symptoms of, um, respiratory infections and conditions. So the way you would use that or the way I like to use that is combining it with one of the other top tens, the Easy Air blend. So I combine them together in the diffuser, um, particularly at night time. Um, yeah, just it's a nice combination and it will help everyone to breathe that bit better. So it's, yeah, it's a good one. Oh, and also that combination, while I'm on the topic, lavender and Easy Air is a great combination for snoring to reduce snoring. It's just opening up the airways as well as keeping the calm feelings and keeping people asleep. So that's another favorite way to use that one. Now it does help to relieve pain and sensitivity in minor cuts and grazes and minor burns, not major ones. Major ones clearly need to be seen by a medical professional, but minor ones is great. And it's also really good at promoting skin healing. So if you had a cut, a, um, if you had a cut or a graze with your child, I would definitely be combining these two, which is your lavender and your tea tree, the antiseptic benefits and the skin healing benefits combined is really good. Um, if you had a burn, peppermint and lavender for cooling the burn, also healing the burn. And then um, say you've got a scar or, you know, a brute like, a cut that hasn't quite healed or something, the frankincense and lavender are very good for healing the skin later. So I like to make all those ones up in little roller bottles. I've got kids recipe ebook um, with lots of rollable recipes where we use all these types of oils. Um, yeah, for how to pretty much care for your kids, first aid and general health conditions and that sort of thing. Okay, so obviously this is another one that features in my nappy um, cream, tushy spray and baby wipes because again, lavender is safe for babies and very gentle and calming and gentle and calming on the skin equally as emotionally. Um, it's also good for relieving the pain from insect bites and bee stings. So a drop of lavender on top of an insect bite or a bee sting will definitely soothe that a bit. Lavender oil is a foot soak, obviously another really good one, similar to the bath. Um, um, you can make up your own lavender like insect repellent. I haven't done that, but I've heard that it does work quite well. I might have to find a recipe for it. Lavender for cooking. Clearly very, very good. Lavender cakes, lavender cupcakes, lavender lemonade, lavender, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's other things. You can put it with your smoothie. I did make um, lavender cupcakes with one of the classes I did a little while ago. And we had lavender flavored cupcakes plus lavender cream cheese icing. And it was so damn good. When you're using the oils for cooking, you really only need about one drop. So that's not too bad. <laughs> what are you doing, Mark? <laughs> Here comes my baby. <laughs> yeah, so we like that one. Um, eczema, dermatitis, just by diluting a couple of drops in a carrier oil. I'm pointing to my finger because I do get a little bit of dermatitis on that finger where I usually wear my ring. So just a couple of times a day with the lavender and maybe the tea tree and the frankincense combined to help with little rashes like that. Hay fever. Interestingly enough, lavender is really good at reducing the symptoms of hay fever. And we do get that. <laughs> Nausea, morning sickness, travel sickness, and vomiting. As simple as taking a couple of breaths or in your hand like we did before, cupping and inhaling. 
It does smell pretty good, especially with the frankincense smell there as well. A nose bleed, stopping a nose bleed. So if you have access to ice, grab a tiny little chip about half the size of your fingernail and wrap it in a tissue. And when you wrap that in a tissue, put a couple of drops of lavender on top and you just gently sit it at the base of the nose, not in the nose, but at the base there. So that's another good one. Let's move on to lemon essential oil. Okay, so this is obviously very well known for cleansing and energizing. Any citrus one is quite an energizing, like it lifts up your mood, it promotes happy, healthy, like sunshine, I don't know, outdoors, everyone just loves lemon. Do you want to say hello, above? Oh, this is lucky. Look, look. Say hello. <laughs> you say hello. You smell a lemon. <laughs> okay, so lemon essential oil is also really good for rehydrating your body. So if you had something like the tummy bug um, or a really hot day where you just know you haven't been getting enough water into your body, lemon oil can really help to rehydrate your body in that way. So we quite like that. <laughs> Okay, so other ways you might like to use your lemon essential oil is um, combining it with olive oil and making up your own wood floor or wood furniture polish, I should say. Or um, I actually use it on my leather lounges. I've got old Chesterfield leather lounges and the kids obviously make a mess. So I mix a couple of drops with like half a cup or a cup of olive oil or whatever dilution I'm doing. And that way I'm cleaning the lounge with the citrusy stuff. And I'm also um, conditioning the lounge with the oil. So it works really well. Um, polishing silver is another way you can use your lemon essential oil. Floor cleaner, obviously, by adding it to whatever floor cleaning mixture you use. Obviously, adding it to cooking. Lemon's very popular for cooking. When it comes to cooking with the oils, you only really need like one drop. It's very, very strong, um, very potent. Not potent, but pure, I should say. Like, you, yeah, I'll find a conversion chart and put up on the page as well. But, yeah, you really don't need much oil. Really good at alleviating bad breath. Anxiety, like we've already spoken about. Um, one drop in a glass of water every morning is quite good for a gentle daily cleanse. So, a lot of people like to do that first thing in the morning. It kind of kickstarts your metabolism by doing that as well, too. Um relieving a sore itchy throat so i like to make up our own cough mixture for the kids here so i get the solid coconut oil um and probably about four tablespoons of that about three drops of this and a couple of tablespoons of raw honey and i just slowly heat it on the stove and once it's heated i then let it cool put it in a glass jar keep it in the fridge for a couple of months and then the kids can either suck it directly off the spoon, which they quite like to do, or we can make it up into like a warm tea. So that's a nice way to soothe their throat. Now, <laughs> all mamas with boys will know exactly what I mean when I say neutralizing bad odors in the bathroom. So this is something that we have to do quite a bit in our house. Boys just, I don't know, make a mess in the toilet. So. This has been very helpful for that. So making up maybe your own toilet spray or just putting a couple of drops on the actual toilet roll itself. Um, you can also put a couple of drops on like a cotton ball and sit on the shelf in like on the window shelf or something like that, which helps as well. Um, shoes, neutralizing odor in shoes, particularly soccer, football, netball shoes, things like that that get a bit sweaty and dirty. Promotes a positive mood and cognitive ability. So great to have at your desk or near your desk when you need to do some, you know, physically, not physically, emotionally, mentally demanding tasks that need doing concentration. So you could diffuse this with something else or you could just smell from the bottle again. One thing to be careful with with the citrus oils is that they are photosensitive, a lot of them. So you don't necessarily want to apply these to the skin anywhere like you would with a lot of the other oils um, where you're going to have sunlight hitting throughout the day. So I think probably if you were going to use them at night time on your skin, that would be fine because then they will be gone by the time you go out in the sun the next day. But just be careful of that. 
removing sticky labels and sticky crap off things that just, you know, get stuck. I hate that. But lemon is very good at that. And promoting a healthy respiratory function when it is being diffused. So that's another good one. Okay. Um, peppermint. I was just trying to find it. Peppermint essential oil is our next essential oil on the list. Now, this is obviously very well known to promote a healthy respiratory system and um, digestive health. So, the ways that we like to use it is for nausea and upset stomach by smelling from the bottle, on road trips, stuff like that. If you get motion sickness, putting in your hand, inhaling, um, diffusing. You can put it on your tummy. Peppermint's one you have to be a bit careful with, with bubbers sort of under two. So, it's not something that's our first port of call when it comes to an oil for babies at all. It's just, it does... It can slow down the breathing of a younger child, so you just have to be careful with that. Um, so, yeah, so with bigger, older children, you can definitely put a couple of drops in your hand in some carrier oil and massage their tummy in a clockwise motion because that's the way our digestive tract and everything works. So that will help to um, soothe upset tummies and that sort of thing. Now, peppermint is good for drawing out ticks in people and animals, obviously. So you can just put a couple of drops on top of the tick around the area and that will help to draw out the tick and, yeah, have some benefits to um, the area around it as well. Calms, coughing and bronchial congestion. Okay, so obviously through diffusing is probably the best way to do that. Older kids where you feel a bit safer, you can definitely make up like a Vicks vapor rub for their chest with a couple of drops of this and coconut oil on their back, on their feet, all that sort of stuff. Uh, another good one for reducing odors and another good, oh, that's for how I like to use it too. Peppermint for reducing odors in um, your garbage bin. You can grab like a cotton ball and put a couple, you know, four or five drops or whatever on a cotton ball and put that at the bottom of your bin before you put your bin liner in so that that just helps to take away some of that smell. Equally good for repelling mice in that way or spiders and insects. So you can have a couple of these little cotton balls in your entry points around the house, um, window sills, door spots, wherever mice and stuff could get in and that will help to repel them. They hate peppermint mice in particular. Obviously you can use it for a good um, healthy mouth pull. Um, Oil pull, I meant to say, not mouthful. Oil pull, but in your mouth, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so that's a really good one. Obviously, very good for your oral health. So you could gargle it in some oil, water, whatever you want to do there. Now, using it with wild orange and well, wild orange in particular, you can add frankincense if you like for a midday pick me up or a three o'clock pick me up or just a really focused wake me up because I'm dead tired. So. We had a class the other night with a group of ladies and when we started the class, I said to them all, I was like, how are you feeling guys? And they're like, yeah, tired, sick, not focusing. I was like, okay. So we went around with the wild orange and the peppermint and we put a couple of drops in each of their hands, got them to cup and inhale. And they were like, oh my God, we are awake and we are ready to concentrate for the class. I mean, you do have to try it to believe it, but it is seriously like you just get that and you're like, whoa, everything is awake. <laughs> it's very, very, very powerful. So you don't need five cups of coffee a day. You don't need a Red Bull. You need these. <laughs> so adding frankincense to that as well can be very helpful. Um, great for lowering body temperature on a hot day or for um, fevers and that type of thing. Obviously, if the fever is continuing over, you know, you've brought the fever down, it keeps coming back and coming back, you definitely need to see a doctor, like, definitely. But if someone's got a bit of heat stroke or an older kid has been sick with the temperature and you need to get it down in a bit of a hurry, peppermint will get it down. But just make sure if you're not feeling easy about that, go and see your doctor. Um, what else have we got here? Um, obviously very good to add to smoothies, desserts, um, hot chocolate, peppermint hot chocolate, chocolate mint brownies, whatever, lots and lots of desserts. We use peppermint, um, bliss balls. So it can help to ease the tension headaches with lavender like I did before. Just be very careful you don't get any eyes. So lavender and peppermint here, I would dilute it. Peppermint can be 
um, have a bit of a burning sensation. It won't burn, but a bit of a burning sensation because it's cooling. So in the back of your neck again, like I said before. Um, you can make toothpaste, your own toothpaste with peppermint as well. Okay, next one is tea tree, Melaleuca. This is the Australian oil. It's actually grown here in Australia, which we feel pretty proud about. This oil is very versatile. It is amazing. It's an antiseptic, um, antibacterial type one, like very, very good for the skin, very, very good to help with rashes and cuts and grazes, like I mentioned before with the lavender, like very, very healing for the skin. Very safe for babies. Again, one of our top baby oils. Again, it features in the nappy wipes, nappy cream, cradle crap, all that sort of stuff. It's great. Okay, so, and it's also really good for cleaning, really good for cleaning. So, ways you can use this is like with nail funguses, eczema, athlete's foot, you can add it to your shampoo for a healthy scalp and to help with deodorant and head loss. Um, use with your skincare regime to help reduce acne. So you can put a couple of drops in your moisturizer if you have a big zit that you want to try and get rid of and not make it all flamed up and you um, go yuck. You can put a drop or a couple of drops a couple of times a day on top of it and it will pretty much reduce it and make it um, not as nasty and noticeable. So that's a good one. You can freshen up your washing by putting a drop with your washing. Um, great spray to keep your mattresses healthy and free from bed bugs, etc. So I kind of make up the same spray. Generally speaking, I use lavender and tea tree. Sometimes I'll add uh, rosemary to that one. And that spray I will use for both head lice and their hats and that sort of thing. Odors and stuff in their soccer shoes and football shoes and stuff. As well as the mattress spray. So just to keep your mattresses clean and healthy from bed bugs. That's a good one. So make up your own spray and use it in a few different ways. Um, occasional skin damage. I think we covered that with the, like the owie type spray. Immune support when you've got the flu and that sort of thing is quite good with the On Guard and the Oregano. You can add it to like your flu bomb. Very good immune support. And that would be something that you put on your feet and your spine. Your feet, I like to mention a lot, if you don't have a general area where you're looking at applying the oil for a certain reason, applying it to your feet, your feet have the largest pores in your body. So that's the quickest way to get the oils into your system. So that's why we generally say, put on your feet, put on your feet. <laughs> um, obviously, and there's plenty of cleaning recipes that go with tea tree. So that's that one. Oregano is so bloody powerful and so hot. You have to be so careful. Definitely, definitely, definitely never use it undiluted, particularly on children and just don't use it on babies or nursing pregnant mums. It's not safe. It's hot, powerful and amazing <laughs> if you know how to use it right. Okay, so our oregano oil is well known for its antiseptic, antifungal, anti-inflammatory and antibiotic properties. This oil obviously should be used with extreme caution, not for babies, pregnant nursing mums, like I just said. Always try and dilute it. Always. So fungal infections, tendonitis, cysts, herpes, arthritis, pain, bed bugs, nits, lice, fleas. It's going to blow those babies out of the water. Make up an antibacterial spray with it. Um, that and On Guard is going to bomb your house of any germs. <laughs> like powerful. Bugger the Glen 20, you don't need that stuff. This is the chemical free version that will do a better job. <laughs> um, immunity, serious immunity. I'm talking everyone has the flu, the tummy bug. If you're an adult or, you know, kids over 12, immunity bomb. You can only do it for 10 days. You can do it internally. I've done it internally a couple of times, particularly when I've had a sore throat. One drop of On Guard in a mug of water it tastes like shite, but I did not have a sore throat, possibly because the taste of the On Oregano going down just went like it's horrid, but it did the bloody job. <laughs> and I've done that about three times. Every time I get a sore throat, that is what I do. And I'm just like, wow, I don't have a sore throat anymore. <laughs> So yeah, but with a flu bomb, I do have a flu bomb recipe that I'll also share with you. Um, and that's rolling it in a rollable mixture with some other oils up and down the spine and on the feet several times a day. But then you, you stop after 10 days. 10 days is enough. Um, some people use this 
with their um, like their worming regime for the family. That would be diluted and clockwise on the tummy and obviously very seriously look at your dilution rates for the age of the people that you are doing it with. Um, oregano can also be good for like older people that may get cold hands and feet in winter. So heavily diluted and just applying like rubbing like a nice massage on the skin or the feet or wherever it is that's quite cold on the body um, just to warm them up. Removing warts, you can put a couple of drops on this a couple of times a day on the wart, cover it with a band-aid and it might take three, four, five days. I'm not quite sure. I've never had one. And you will wait and see the wart will just pop right off. So that's nice. <laughs> um, clean and purify the surfaces by using as an all-purpose spray like we mentioned. So that's it for the six single oils. Now we're looking at On Guard, which is our first um, essential oil blend and it's our protective blend. And it is amazing, like very amazing. Everyone should have this in their home. Like it's the bomb diggity. Okay, so it supports our body's natural antioxidant defense. Supports healthy immune function. Use it with oregano and black pepper and stuff like that for serious immunity. Um, it will support healthy respiratory function, protects against seasonal threats through either diffusing in the air to get rid of the bugs and the impurities and germs in the air. Like I said before, you don't need Glen Tony anymore. You need healthy God and oregano if you like. Um, or internally for adults and older children, you can take a drop a day um, in a mug of water. Or add it to a smoothie or something like that so that you don't notice it as much. Um, topically dilute on the soles of feet for your um, kids. I mentioned before that with babies for immunity, I go frankincense because On Guard isn't quite as safe for littlies. On Guard is fine for any, you know, I would say anyone over three probably. I would combine them both together probably for children. Um just for a daily immunity, particularly in times when seasonal threats are high, like there's flus and colds and tummy bugs and all that stuff around. Promotes healthy circulation through massage. Uh, fantastic for all your cleaning bases. So I add this to everything. Like if I make my own laundry detergent, my own hand soaps, my own um, cleaning wipes, I just use this. And that's the same recipe as my baby wipes, which I'll show you. Quite easy to do. Uh, spray and wipe, dishwashing, whatever, anything cleaning, this will be what you'll add to it. Um, sore throat, we said healthy mouth, obviously oil pulling with this, that's really good for gum disease and to help with uh, cavities. Great to add to your floor cleaning, bathroom cleaning, even carpet cleaning mix. So yeah, it's very much our cleaning, protective immunity. So many things on gut is very, very worthwhile buying. What's next? Um, easy Air. Our respiratory blend. This is the reason I got started with doTERRA essential oils because Jackson, our oldest son, has asthma. And this, um, this and the frankincense and the cardamom, which I used to apply and I still do when he gets really bad asthma. He's a bad asthmatic. We end up in hospital several times a year with him. Um, but the frankincense and the cardamom are really good for applying directly to his chest to reduce the inflammation. And the Easy Air is really good for opening up his airways, clearing his airways. So this will help to alleviate allergy symptoms in a diffuser or diluted on the chest and feet. Pretty much make your own DIY Vicks Vapor Rub with this. It also promotes restful sleep when diffused with lavender. I'm sure we spoke about that before. And the lavender and the Easy Air and the diffuser will help with reducing snoring. Um, it assists in reducing symptoms of lung infection, bronchitis, coughs, asthma, um, Decongest the sinuses, helps to decongest the sinuses. Minimizes the effects of seasonal threats. Um, you can use it as like a DIY decongestant where you put a couple of drops in, you know, a big bowl of hot water and then a towel over your head just to clear everything out. That's really good. Now, another one I didn't really know until a little while ago is it's actually really good for claustrophobia and anxiety, like anxious feelings. So just by opening up your airways, um, calming your breathing down and yeah, well, slowing your breathing down, I guess. 
So yeah, that one's a good one. Um, and a lot of athletes apply this to their chest and backs um, to get it sort of into their lungs before and after competing. Um, before exercise in particular, just to help open everything up, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's easier. One of my other faves. Deep Blue. This is why my husband likes the oils. <laughs> this is our soothing muscle blend. Um, provides pain relief from mild and severe situations on unbroken skin. So not broken skin where there's a cut or a graze or something like that. It alleviates joint and muscle pain or helps too by rubbing directly on the injury. My hubby had to have a knee reconstruction a few years ago and it's still crappy. It's from old football injuries and being a heavy duty mechanic and that sort of thing. Um... Yeah, so Deep Blue has definitely helped him a lot. It can go in the bath. It's a really, really good one for like a foot soak if you're tired and sore. Great for massaging your shoulders and your neck if you sit at a computer all day and you've got lots of taut, tired, sore muscles. You know, if you're a farmer or something like that, like all of us are, you've had a big day fencing, spraying, whatever you've been doing. In the bath, like I said, with the carrier oil and some Epsom salts, magnesium flakes, something like that to spread it all around is really good. Um, growing pains, great one for growing pains. It does actually come in a pre-made roller and we also have, we do have deep blue, um, tablets, which are kind of like, like well, they've already got the oil and that in them. So they're just like taking a pill, like a Panadol or something like that. So that's a good one, but there is also a deep blue rub, which I don't have here at the moment, but it's a rub already pre-made up. And by combining the rub and the oil, it packs you know, a double powerful punch. So that's a really good one as well. So it does help for bruises, reducing the pain and the swelling. It's good for whiplash, bone spurs and scoliosis. Great as a pre and post exercise massage. Um, ease muscle tension after a long day and reduce muscle cramps. So it's awesome. And it will convince your husbands to buy the pack. <laughs> Okay, our last blend in our top 10 essential oils kit is our Digest Zen blend. Now, this is a beautiful blend that obviously supports our digestive system. Um, really good for taming your tummy. If there's a tummy bug going around or you've eaten something that just doesn't feel right, doesn't settle in your tummy, um, reduces bloating, gas and indigestion. Reduces anxious knots in your tummy too if you're worried or stressed about something. So that can be another good one. It actually enhances your digestion and promotes healthy bowel movement if you're taking one drop a day in a glass of water. Um, just kind of keeps you regular a bit better, I guess. Um, promotes digestion of foreign foods. So if you're traveling overseas or you're going out for dinner and you're eating, you know, something that you're not generally used to it's quite good to have on hand either take it internally one drop in a cup of water or you can mix it with a bit of carrier oil and rub it clockwise around your tummy as well so yeah motion sickness travel sickness morning sickness it's okay for um mouth rinse yeah any of that sort of stuff i guess okay so that is our top 10 essential oils the oils that you will find in your home essentials kit along with See that pretty little purple and white diffuser in the background there? <laughs> the petal diffuser. That's what you get in your home essentials kit. And I promise you they will get used very well. Like I mentioned before, I've done up lots of recipes with all of these 10 oils um, that will really get you to start using them, whether it's emotionally, first aid, or um, diffusing them. Lots of different ways I can show you how to get your money's worth out of this initial kit. It's the way that I recommend everyone starts and then you can build your collection, you know, month by month as you can afford to. But they're, they're going to just give you such a big variety and a range of ways to use them so that you've got a bit of everything. You've got some emotional ones, you've got some sleep ones, you've got some skin health ones, you've got some digestive ones, some respiratory ones, some grounding and calming ones. Like you've got everything you need to get started and then add some more as you can afford to later. Now, this month... So we're in March 2018. Can't believe how quick the year's going already. This month, if you buy yourself a Home Essentials kit, you are going to get a free Salia Bell. And there. <laughs> Can't really see that with the light at the moment. This is our anti-aging skincare blend. 
which is unreal. So you put it on your fine lines, your wrinkles, you can roll it on your hand and mix it with your face moisturizer. It's also the spiritually connecting oil. So on the emotional side of things, that's what it is, spiritual connection. It's a beautiful, beautiful blend. Now this blend is doTERRA's promotion. Every couple of months they have a big promotion. So you need to have an order of 200 PV, which your Home Essentials kit definitely qualifies for, and you will get this for free. It actually retails for $129, so it is one of our more expensive oils. Um, beautiful, worthwhile getting. So if you do that, that will be wonderful. Um, now, I generally give anyone that signs up on the Home Essentials kit this is off my bat, not off doTERRA's bat. I will give them a wild orange essential oil. And the reason I do that is because most of these recipes that I've done up in the first aid, emotional and diffuser um, combinations are the home essentials kit that we just went through as well as the wild orange essential oil. So I just love adding that to that little collection because I think you've just got so many different avenues and ways to use it. So there you have it. If you do not already have an essential oil um, kit or an account with doTERRA and you are looking at getting started and haven't been working closely already with another doTERRA wellness advocate, then I would love to help you get started. Um, we have lots of groups, a big community where everyone posts all types of information and questions and we all answer and help each other. Lots of resources. I'll send you out lots of resources in your welcome kit. Um, lots of recipes, lots of way to get started. Yeah, um, I think we're a pretty great team to join if you want to be in the Aussie team. <laughs> so let me know. Um, there's obviously also a really great business opportunity that comes with the doTERRA essential oils. I combine mine between doing online classes and face-to-face um, -face classes. I really love both ways, so I'm really glad that I'm combining both. I do live in rural Australia um, in a quieter type area on a farm, so I don't get to do as many one-on-ones and face-to-face -face classes as other people, and that's why I use the internet as well. So, But we're a very, very fast-growing team. We have lots of new oil builders in our team, and we are running for our next rank in our company, and things are exciting. So if you're looking for a really, really down to earth, beautiful business where you can share products and earn commissions in such a natural way where you know you genuinely are helping people and making a big difference in their life, then I strongly recommend you reach out and ask me how to get started or ask me some for you, a few questions about it because it's just such a positive experience and I've met so many incredible people through my doTERRA business. So. Can't recommend it enough, really. <laughs> anyway, reach out to me if you'd like to take advantage of that sell your bell, free sell your bell. That is only um, only available for another how many days? 31st of March, anyway. So not long to go, and you will get that 129 value free, and it's something that you will use. Who doesn't want something that's going to help to clear their face, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and make their skin beautiful? <laughs> okay guys i hope you enjoyed that 101 class on our top 10 essential oils and i hope that you can now see the value in buying that kit and having that kit at home yeah i just i wanted to show you as many ways as possible to use those oils so that you know that your investment is definitely worth it like 330 dollars for the top 10 oils with the diffuser it's fantastic value, especially with the freebies that are happening or promotions that are happening this month. So don't hesitate, reach out to me and I will help you get started right away.